Hey, how you doing today? I have a really, really fun video to share with you today, and it's going to be Ube Favors. So the two favors that I chose today are Ube cookies, and these are very, very easy sugar Ube cookies, and you'll see how easy they are. And people will think you spent a lot of time on them because they're so delicious. And the second Ube favor is Ube fortune cookies sprinkled with cashew roca bits. Doesn't that sound yummy? So let's get to the recipe. Let's see. I think I'll start with I'll start with the ube fortune cookies. So all you need for the ube fortune cookies is, of course, cashew roca. Okay, so we're gonna take these and smash them up really bad so that they can stick right to the fortune cookie. Okay, the ube I mean, um, cashew roca. Okay, next, a box of fortune cookies. So I got this at the Hawaiian market, and um, sometimes these are hard to find. But this whole box only costs like four bucks, and it's so fun to dress these up and make it a favor. So, cashew roca bits, a box of fortune cookies, one pack of Ghirardelli. So I like Ghirardelli white chocolate. They melt much better in the microwave than any other chocolate and that's by trial and error and um, I had to learn the hard way so this is what I really really like Ghirardelli premium baking chips white chocolate okay and this is the major ingredient right here this is ube flavor extract so I got a hold of a bunch of bottles and I'm just gonna save them because it's hard to get hold of during COVID. So when I saw it, I went ahead and got some because I could just keep on making favors, cookies, um, butter mochi, whatever calls for ube. So this is the one that I trust. I've been using this for a long time. So that's one half teaspoon ube extract, okay? Let's see. And I think that's all we need. That's all we need. So let's just get started with this. So out of that one pack of Ghirardelli white chocolate, I need one cup, okay? So I'm gonna put one cup into this bowl here, okay? And this, these chocolates are about, I took them out for room temperature about 30 minutes ago, but I could tell that they're still on the cold side. So I'm gonna microwave them for 60 seconds, okay? So 60 seconds, here we go. All right, so that is in the microwave for 60 seconds. So while we have that one minute to uh, get those melted, I'm just gonna review the ingredients for the ube sugar cookies, and it's really, really easy. You'll be surprised. So all you have to do is get a good old Betty Crocker sugar cookie mix. That's all you have to do. If you don't have this where you're at, just get any sugar cooker mix, sugar cookie mix, and it will do. And this, this is why it makes it so easy. So I tried some recipes for sugar cookies and they just don't seem to turn out right. So I always, when it comes to a sugar cookie and when you're making a favor, I just go for the, the box mix. It's okay because um, no one will really know that it came from a box, but they will know if you make it wrong and you made it from scratch. They, people could tell. <laughs> but my suggestion is when you're making party favors, just get the pre-made cookie mix. So. Just follow the instructions. So the instruction on this is for drop cookies, one egg and one stick of margarine or butter. So I have this and then I have my one stick of Costco sweet cream butter. And for sure, because I've already made this, for sure you're going to get the most excellent ube sugar cookies. So that was a really, really easy recipe for the sugar cookies. So we'll put this aside because we'll make the fortune cookies first. OK, 
Okay, so I got my melted white chocolate here. So we are going to go ahead and get a measuring spoon and put in our ube extract, all right? Are you ready for this? Okay, so here's our ube extract. Here is my white chocolate. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix it around, okay? So I'm just gonna vigorously mix it here. And then you could tell that it's melting well. Okay, so 60 seconds with near room temperature Ghirardelli white chocolate and vigorously mix it and it looks like this. So this is the tricky part. This ube extract cannot be cold it actually has to be at room temperature or even warmer if you could just put it in the sun a little bit because i've noticed by trial and error if i take it out cold and put it cold into the melted chocolate here it's going to really ruin the chocolate and that is why i learned the hard way but not to worry because now i got it down so i'm going to take one half teaspoon and you have to work fast here. Uh, a little bit warm, a little bit more than room temperature, so a little bit warm of ube extract, and you're gonna put it right in, and you have to work really, really fast. So it's already turning color. You have to work really, really fast because it does something to the chocolate. It makes it kind of on the thick side, but since we kind of have it a little bit warm, it kind of has left it a little bit thin. So this was a good, good advice that the ube has to be a little bit warmer than room temperature and definitely not cold, okay? So here we go. And we have to hurry here. I am going to take my parchment paper. Okay, here's my parchment paper. And here is my ube chocolate. And I am going to start dipping it halfway, okay? And then I'm gonna lay it on the parchment paper, just like this. All right, so you saw that. There you go, just like that. And you have to work fast because the chocolate, the ube chocolate, gets cold. And um, chocolate dip or white chocolate dip or ube flavored dip white chocolate and then bringing it to a party it's really really fun because everybody opens up their fortune and hopefully they don't get a bad fortune <laughs> so one fortune I got when I ate one yesterday it said you'll be the happiest in 2020 and I thought that was a little bit ironic because we're in a massive pandemic and um, things have not been going right. So, lesson, don't believe your fortune, just have fun with it. <laughs> okay. So also too, what I've noticed with fortune cookies, probably have to buy several boxes because some of the times that I have bought boxes at my local grocers, Half of them were cracked, and that was no fun. So um, 
Yeah, definitely buy several boxes. Okay, so the chocolate here is getting a little bit cold, so I have to work a little bit faster because I still got to stick the cashew roca on top. Okay, so I have enough sugar, I mean enough chocolate for one more dip fortune. So from the one cup of chocolate, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 of these, okay? So I am going to go ahead and smash up about five, maybe six, oh, five is good, five rokas. Gotta work fast because it's drying up. So here is the cashew rokas. Don't those look yummy? Let me get one more. gonna do we're put, gonna put in a plastic bag and we're gonna be aggressive about smashing it <laughs> okay here we go all right and this is how they look smashed up and then I am just gonna quickly get them on top of fortune cookies here before the fortune dries up. And smash it a little bit more. Okay, so you could see me, you could see that I'm just kind of they're actually staying even though that these are at an angle. There's something about the chocolate, it's thick enough that it is staying, it's sticking onto the chocolate. Okay, can't be slow poke about this one. Gotta be on top of it. So, let's show you the final product. Okay, so let me bring the cat the cookies to you. So there is the cookies. Doesn't that look so, so yummy? Oh, whoever gets to crack these open will be one lucky person. Like I said, I hope all the fortunes are good luck fortunes. 
and they have awesome readings because if it's not then they're gonna say that I planted it <laughs> okay let me try to do a close-up let's look at this one doesn't that look awesome the purple chocolate the ube chocolate turned out really really well all right so what I'm gonna do is I am gonna let them air dry it's kind of hot today so um, I'm gonna try to see if I can put it in front of a fan where it can air dry and um, then they will be packaged so I have these little things that I always put my stuff in these little cellophane bags and I wrap it up and the presentation is really really cute it's really awesome all right so that is one fortune cookie favor down and another favor to go so the next favor was that really really easy cookie recipe that we talked about and that is the sugar cookie mix out of a package so let's go ahead and get this sucker open Here we go. Put it right into the bowl here. Next, very easy ingredients, one egg, right into the bowl. And this, of course, like I was saying, is right off the package. Okay, and then this is room temperature butter, not melted butter, but room temperature. If it's too melted, then have a hard time forming them, okay? So that is that. And um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put the ube extract. Okay, I'm gonna put it into the somewhat room temperature butter and mix it in that first because it just helps disperse it better into the cookie. So yes, that part, the easiest ube cookie, needed that one teaspoon of ube extract, okay? One teaspoon of ube extract coming right up. And that's what it looks like. It's super dark. It doesn't even look purple, but you'll see how purple it really is. Let me get my gloves on. I'm going to show you what the butter, ube butter looks like. Okay, so that is what the butter and the ube extract look like. So I'm going to mix the whole thing now. Okay. Just get it. Do it the old fashioned way. Your friends will think that you have spent so much time on this. You don't have to tell them the secret. You could just tell them that Lady Shake and Bake taught you. And Lady Shake and Bake's videos holds the secret. Okay, so I'm just trying to get the best mix in there. And here we go, almost done. Just a little crumbs here and there that need to be mixed in, okay. All right, so 
so this is our mound of sugar cookie dough. There you go. Doesn't that look awesome? It's so pretty purple. I can't believe one teaspoon of ube extract was able to make this this pretty. Okay. All right. So next is just the to end the easy part of the whole situation is just to go ahead and roll them. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and spray the can. And since I made this before, I know I'm going to get eight giant ube cookies. And I like them round, and so when they flatten while they cook, they're kind of thick. And um, when I first, first, my very first sugar cookie, I was tempted to cook it longer. But when the package says 10 minutes, it really should be... 10 minutes even though the top seems too soft maybe you could do maybe 11 or 12 minutes but it really means 10 minutes and um, so the bottom will be crunchy but the cookie will be soft so yeah make sure yeah okay so here is my first one I'll plop it down here's my second one So these are really big mounds of cookies. And if you're gonna make a favor for a cookie, you want it to be an impressive favor. Nothing, no, no, no small cookie, okay? <laughs> no small flat cookie, you want a grand purple cookie. Okay, so this one's a little bit big, so I'm gonna steal from that one a little bit. I'm gonna steal from this one so I can have my eight cookies. All right, so there are my eight ube cookies ready to go in the oven at 350 for about 10 to 12 minutes, okay? So I have a surprise for you. So I already had cooked these cookies and I had passed them out to a friend already and she loved them. So I kept two samples for myself and the family and I'm trying not to eat them because I wanted to shoot this video first but here they are all right so I don't know if I mentioned the topping the coconut topping for this it's just the regular local grocery flaked coconut sweeten okay so right after they came out of the oven I went ahead and took some flakes and pushed it at the top of the cookie. I just pushed it right in and this is what it turned out to look like. All right, so this is the first one. Doesn't that look yummy? And it's round. So very impressive when it comes out. It's pretty round. <laughs> I wouldn't say perfectly round. And then the bottom is brown. So it's crunchy on the outside and soft on the inside so if you did this like 15 minutes I think you will just ruin the cookie that's why I'm warning you <laughs> about keeping it at 10 minutes okay so here is another one okay I squished the coconut in and then the bottom it's pretty stiff but when you bite into it this will definitely be soft okay so that is another sample of an already cooked ube sugar cookie, all right? So you saw how easy that was. So that is the easiest sugar ube cookies that you'll ever, ever make. So don't forget, that is one package of sugar cookie mix, one half teaspoon of ube extract, and one bag of coconut flakes for sprinkling. And don't forget about the ube fortune cookies, okay? So you need one box of fortune cookies, one pack of 
Ghirardelli white chocolate and then from that you could do one cup and for every one cup of white chocolate it's one half teaspoon of warm ube extract that goes into the melted and aggressively steered white chocolate and then I chose to use cashew roca for the toppings of this because it kind of reminds me of um, one of the desserts that Filipinos love to eat with cashew and I forget the name it's all cashew cake and um, it's green so um, definitely someone will probably remember the name but I can't remember it right now but it reminds me of that and it's so so delicious all right so let me see if I can pick one of these up without ruining it okay so here's one okay no nope, they're still a little bit kind of uh, still a little bit okay here's one I could bring up close for a minute there you go and that is your cashew roca ube fortune cookie and one last look at our ube sugar cookies and your friends will think you spent so much time but you see that I tried to explain it well and um, they'll think you spent so much time but you really really didn't all right okay I'll let you go take care bye bye